Hi, hello, good day students. Today, we are going to study on how to solve word problems that involves multiplication. Let us start by identifying or knowing the clue words or keywords that are related to multiplication. So, understanding the keywords is definitely a key to enable to solve problems. So, you should have a great understanding with a term that is related to a certain operation. So, these are the words related to multiplication. Notice that some of the keywords were also used in addition. As we all know, multiplication is a repeated addition. So, you have to analyze the problem carefully. Okay, so to enable us... To solve the problem easily, we have steps to follow. Okay, first we have to think. You have to read and understand the problem. If you can't understand the problem by reading it once, then read it twice or until the time that you really uh, understood what is the problem all about. So here are the guide questions in understanding the problem. First, determine what is asked. Or, what is the problem all about? What is the question in the problem? B. Identify the given facts. Given facts refers to the numbers that are given in the problem. Okay. Then, next step, we have plan. So, you have to make a plan. So, identify the operation to be used based from the keyword. And then after that, write the number sentence. Okay, now that we are done with planning, so it's time to carry out the plan. We have to solve. So you have to show your solution or your computation. Then after that, indicate what is the final answer together with its label or unit. Then after that, you have to check if your solution makes sense. That is the time for you to look back to your answer. Double check if your calculation is right and just. Okay, now that we knew already the steps and how to solve word problems, let us apply it in solving this word problem. Okay, all together, let us read the problem. Mother bought eight t-shirts at 475 pesos each. How much did she pay in all? Again, mother bought 8 t-shirts at 475 pesos each. How much did she pay in all? Okay, did you understand what is the problem all about? Now, let us answer the problem using the step-by-step -step procedure. So, we will be guided by the questions that we had earlier. So, the first question that we need to answer is, Okay, it's what is asked in the problem? So, here, you have to look for the question. What is the question in the problem? So, the question is all about the payment of 8 t-shirts. Okay, now we already know what is the problem all about. Next, let us answer the next question about the given facts. Remember that the given facts refer to the numbers that are in the problem. So, we have... 8 t-shirts and 475 pesos each. Okay, so you have to put also a label in the given numbers. Next, next question, we have, what is the operation to be used? What do you think is the operation that we are going to use to solve the problem? Okay, the operation that will solve the problem is the multiplication. Now, what is the number sentence? 
Okay, since we are going to use multiplication, the number sentence is written as 475 times 8 is equal to N. Okay, let us proceed to the next step, which is, okay, showing the solution. So you have to multiply the numbers. So the answer is 3,800. So in indicating the final answer, you have to label your answer. So mother will pay 3,800 pesos for eight t-shirts. Okay, how was it students? How did you find solving word problem? Is it easy than the real life problem? Okay, let's have more examples. Okay, join me in reading this problem. Jay has 2,140 Philippine stamps. He has four times as many foreign stamps as Philippine stamps. How many foreign stamps does he have? Once again, Jay has 2,140 Philippine stamps. He has four times as many foreign stamps as Philippine stamps. How many foreign stamps does he have in all? Okay, so let us use the steps in solving the problem. First, what is asked? So the question is all about the total number of foreign stamps. Then, what are the given facts? We have 2,140 Philippine stamps and 4 times is the foreign stamps. Next, so what do you think is the operation that we are going to use to solve the problem? Okay, it's multiplication. Since it's multiplication, the number sentence is written as 2140 times 4 is equal to n. Now, let us have the next step wherein we are going to show our solution. So make sure that your solution is clear and justifiable. Then, from that, we can conclude the final answer. So the final answer is 8,560 foreign stamps. Don't forget the label in the final answer. Okay, now let's have another problem. Money bought 18 boxes of marbles. Each box had 555 marbles. How many marbles were there in all? Money bought 18 boxes of marbles. Each box had 555 marbles. How many marbles were there in all? Okay, let us see again the steps in solving the word problem. Okay, the first question is, what is asked? Look for the question in the problem. It is asking about, okay, the total number of marbles. Then, identify the given facts or numbers in the problem. So, we have 18 boxes and then 555 marbles each. Now, let us proceed to the operation that we are going to use. So the operation that will help us to solve the problem is multiplication. Then we have the number sentence written as 555 times 18 is equal to N. So N is a substitute for the unknown answer. Now, let us have the solution for this problem. Okay, so don't forget to add the carry and the partial products. Okay, so from our solution, the final answer is 9,990 marbles. So for 18 boxes, we can have 9,990 
marbles in all. Okay? So, those are the examples for this lesson. Now, for the next two problems, I want to try it to solve using the step-by-step -step procedure. Okay, so in solving word problem, you have to remember the following. 